How's it going, fans? Uh, Panther fans especially, because that's all my uh, uh, videos. They're always geared towards Panther fans. But hope everyone's having a good Sunday. I'm doing all right. Um, Panthers come away with our first loss. Um, I mean, you know, it hurts a little bit. I mean, of course, I, I of course I want a chance to go nineteen to zero, but uh, it, I mean. It, it it always sucks to lose to division rival. It doesn't it doesn't matter whether we're going for undefeated season or whether you know it, it, it's a mediocre season or it's a great you know very good season like in a twenty thirteen season. Um, you know it sucks that we weren't able to put up points. I swear this game seemed to go by so fast. Um, we, uh, we we basically we we moved the ball on him. Um, you know, we, we were able to run the ball with Whitaker and Newton and Artis Payne. And, uh, I think one of the biggest problems that we had was, um, Atlanta was able to get pressure on us. And, um, let's see. What else? They were able to get some pressure on us. And, and, and Newton... Newton really wasn't finding the our key guys. He wasn't finding Ginn. He wasn't finding uh, Greg Olson. But uh, with that said, I mean we still we still have all of our goals in front of us. I mean we we can still uh, get home field advantage throughout. Um, all we need to do is either win next week against Tampa Bay, uh, which I will be going to that game. Um, let's see, either that or have Arizona lose one of their next two games. Uh, with that said, uh, it won't be a perfect season. Um, and, I mean, you know, it, I think kind of the way it, we lost is kind of the hardest part, you know, being how we're a bit below 20 for the first time this season. Uh, that, that, I mean, I, I give Atlanta a ton of credit. Um, you know, like I said in my last video, it seemed like they were able to contain Newton. and uh, But in this time, this time they were able to contain Newton and get after Newton. And uh, they were able to get some things going offensively. I mean, Matt Ryan was getting rid of the ball quickly. And uh, um, they were able to find Roddy White and Julio Jones, uh, Jacob Tammy. Uh, Devontae Freeman, he got some rushing yards when he needed it. Um, there were a few drops on their side. Um, but overall, just a very good effort. Congratulations to the Falcons and their fans on a huge win. Um, with that said, I mean, I don't appreciate the, the insinuation that I was salty and mad. Um... You know, when I made a comment on Twitter that, uh, all, you know, are the Falcons going to hang a 14-1 banner? Uh, I mean, I, I'm kind of being serious because it's, it's a big deal. I mean, this is by far the biggest uh, game that the Falcons have won in probably years. So, I mean, I don't, I don't see what's so offensive by that comment, but Falcon fans on there, they took it. And by Falcon fans, I mean Sean Jay and uh, Fantasy Football. They took it as like, uh, like I'm just being bitter. Like, but the, but the truth is, like that's a big deal beating a 14 and 0 team. So, you know, kudos to y'all. Um, um, congratulations to Fantasy Football. I, you know, I kind of like you, even though you kind of push my buttons sometimes. But uh, Sports Live, you're you're my favorite uh, Falcons video maker. Um, I know you're gonna make our pussies bleed. I don't know what the hell that means. Um, uh, I, I, I'm gonna, uh, I was gonna make a, a joke, but no, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. But, uh, congratulations to Sports Live and, uh, to the Falcons on staying alive, at least for the next few hours. And, uh, hopefully, 
and we can get it together because obviously there's going to be a lot of things on tape that we're going to have to improve on. I mean, Cam Newton is going to have to uh, really do a better job of finding Ginn and Olsen, and uh, our pass rush is going to have to improve going forward. We we weren't we were able to get some pressure on Matt Ryan, but not consistent pressure and not not with just our front four we a lot of times we had to send blitzers and uh you know uh we just we just weren't able to get there and uh what else uh you know uh, julio jones beat uh kurt coleman and luke keekley on a huge play and like team money said that play had reminded me so much of the Haruki uh, Nakamura play in 2012 where uh, Nakamura only got like a two inch vertical off the ground and that, that's exactly what happened to Keekly. Uh, he got beat by Julio and he wasn't able to get nearly enough vertical off the ground and uh, Julio just scooped the ball up and got in the end zone. I mean it was a fantastic play. I just wish uh, we would have had more plays like that on our side. But with that said, I mean, uh, we, we have a tough uh, Tampa Bay game uh, next week. I know uh, we're going to be motivated to play that game, of course. But uh, Tampa Bay is not a team to be slept on. Uh, they, they are quite capable of coming into Charlotte and pulling off a win. So, um, again, congratulations to Atlanta. And hopefully we can correct a lot of the mistake, mistakes that we made in this game. Um, just, it's, you know, it's unfortunate to get this far and, you know, get our first loss, but um, I guess Mercury Morris and all those other, the 72 Dolphins, they'll be able to, uh, you know, uh, open up another bottle of champagne because their, their record... Their 17-0 record will go on. But anyway, that's my analysis for this game. And uh, until next time, I'll see ya. Oh, by the way, shout out to Viper CG and King Tyke. I forgot to mention that in the last video. Uh, shout out to y'all and good game. Peace.